my fans? It's Monday-ish, so that means it's time for another installment of the worst Q&A since Ask Kimbo, my sack, my mail sack. Each week before I show Triple the chest down your throat, you send me questions ranging from rear naked chokes to Back to the Future, and I do my best to sound like I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. And as a consolation for the show even existing, one of the questioners has chosen at random to receive a Triple THS t-shirt. Small consolation, I know. Let's do this shit! Call me sack! Michael Musatelli, did you watch Boxing's Fight with Relevancy last night? I'm assuming you missed Saturday Night Mike, but that's okay, you may have had heavy sparring this week. I did watch Mayweather versus not Pacquiao, and you know what the fucked up part is? I actually enjoy boxing. You show me a great boxing match, and I'm into it 100%. Here's the problem. There's only two people in that entire fucking sport that I care about, and they're never gonna fight each other. There's a new weight division every half pound. You've got 457 fucking titles. I can't keep track of all that shit. Your fights cost way too fucking much. I don't care if you're thrown in a six pack of beer. If it's between buying Grand Theft Auto 5 and watching Mayweather with no chance of losing, I'll put my money on GTA. There's about half a person in that business that's likable. I don't have HBO, and I'm sure as fuck not paying for Showtime. Get your shit together, boxing. You've got two people that are carrying your entire sport, one of which you should probably retire, and the other is a giant fucking douchebag. I wanna like you, boxing, but you make it harder than Contra without the cheat codes. Sim Darkside, how do you fight a cold the Tommy told Hold Way? Fighting a cold the Tommy told Hold Way is simple. I don't believe in colds, therefore they don't exist. Like the Force or Brock Lesnar's stand-up defense. You wanna get rid of a cold? Just tell the thing to fuck off and go about your day. Don't worry about blowing your nose or Vicks Vapor Rub. That stuff's for pussies. Add Danielle's twits. Last time you showed Anderson and John as cats, can I see some other fighters portrayed as various animals? Roll it! Are you not actually Shane Carwin? His disappearance from the MMA world coincides with the birth of this show. Steve, I know it seems suspicious that as soon as Triple THS started, Shane Carwin pulled an Amelia Earhart, but I assure you he is alive and well. He's been living happily these past eight months in the year 1885. The lightning bolt that hit the DeLorean caused a gigawatt overload, which scrambled the time circuits, activated the flux capacitor, and sent him back to 1885. Besides, if I was Shane Carwin, the show would be a little different. What's up, fight fans? Welcome to Triple THS. I'm Tommy Toehold. Today, nodes. Baron Fakahuno. With your taste for horse meat, does watching the Kentucky Derby make you hungry? It does, Farron. I watch it every year with Overeem. We have kettle cooked horse chips and French horse dip, horse beer, fried horse rings, cut up horse on crackers, horse cake for dessert. It's good times. Dave English. Settle an argument. Is Supersonic a Saiyan? Well, Dave, somebody's ripping somebody off. Dragon Ball started in the 80s and Sonic started in 91. So it looks like our favorite blue hedgehog is the deep impact of Goku's Armageddon. But you know what? There's no such thing as an original idea. Everything's been done a million times. The hero's journey's been used since people were shoving stuff in their dicks to appease the sun. Sonic is awesome because somebody said, hey, what if I made Dragon Ball Z? But with a hedgehog that runs fast as fuck. Boom! Best Sega game of all time. So I say bring on the ripoffs. Shit. Triple THS is just weekend update from SNL, but with an angry cartoon and none of the humor. At Ames Dark Side. What's your experience in Twitter jail like? And will the UFC injury bug be your cellmate? Well, Ames, you get three square meals, time in the yard for exercise. I get to read all the books I can get my hands on. I'll tell you what though, the more I'm in there, the more the outside world stops making any sense to me. I mean, what am I supposed to do out there? Get a job at a grocery store? Find Tim Robbins in Mexico? That's not for me. On a side note, change your fucking rules, Twitter. This is why you can't be Facebook. You know how many times I've been in Facebook jail? It doesn't fucking exist. You guys need to Zuckerberg this shit fast. Edmund Thomas. I know if I ask a question, you'll just glance over it and find one where you have an excuse to play an Ultimate Warrior clip. So what better excuse is there than to just tell you to play one? Sold! Explosiveness that can never ever be recreated. A chemical combustion that forms a bond forever and ever. James Whiteford. What do you say to the people who say MMA is too violent? People have been punching each other in the face for 200,000 years. Show a kid nothing but Thomas and friends and never let him out of the house, and he's still gonna fucking punch the first kid that stole his milk at lunch. You can't suppress human nature. All MMA does is take that nature and package it into a sport with rules and regulations so that people don't finish their fights a la Scorpion in Mortal Kombat. You can't hide violence just like you can't hide the fact that we all take shits. It's just like saying everybody won and there are no losers. The only problem is, there are winners and losers, and the other kids playing basketball at recess know that. Now your kid lost, he's been lied to, and he doesn't know how to deal with losing. MMA is a combat sport. The nature of a combat sport is that people engage in combat. So you can tell me you don't like watching MMA and I'm completely fine with that. But don't tell me people can't do it because you like to pretend that violence only exists in the scary part of town. At a non smoky So tell me, Tommy, what gives you the right? I don't have the right. So to appease and distract you, here's a funny cat gif. Ha! That cat gave a five like people do. T-shirt time! Each week the questions get put into a random number picker, and one of the question askers gets a free Triple THS t-shirt for the troubles. Pretty sweet deal if you ask me. This week's winner comes to us from Jason Adderholt with some 90s nostalgia, and we have a special guest reader to deliver his question. Jesse Spano from Bayside High School. I'm so excited! I'm so excited! I'm so... <laughs> scared! It's gonna be 
okay, Jesse. Remember the time we snuck out to ET and rode our bikes in the dark? Well, this is nothing like that. You've become addicted to caffeine in the course of about a week. How the fuck does that even happen? And you want to go to Stanford? You think performing cover songs at the max is stressful? Wait until you've got 18 credit hours, three term papers, and two blue book exams coming up. I see dark things in your future, Jesse Spano. Like showgirls. Which I must admit is actually fucking hilarious. Well done, Jesse. That's Joe Fight fans. If you want the awesome shirt that's headed Jason's way, head to TripleTHS.com and pick up one of your very own. If I didn't answer your question, it's probably for the best that you aren't associated with me in the first place. Tune in Wednesday for an all-new Triple THS that may or may not feature unicorns that play the saxophone.